Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm jumping back in to the last part of the expedition. I'm hoping this is the final part, anyway. So, yeah, let's uh, just jump on over into game. And let's uh, get playing it, shall we, people? I guess I've got the lovely jetpack. And I've also got this wondrous staff. And hopefully we're going to end up with the ship, which is the last thing to get. Oh, and, and a banner and a few other bits. But anyway, let's pop on into the expedition. And there we go. We've finished doing the whole of Phase 4. And we're moving on to a phase five. Now, I've already popped two badges in phase five, talking to aliens. You can find them in stations like where I am right now and just chat to them. You only got to talk to 16 of them. And I've also found an exotic creature on an exotic planet. And I found those in the last episode. So we've got to do this one now. So here we go. Objective, find a lost traveler. Okay. All right. Well, I'm interested to find out how we do that. Okay. Find a lost traveler. Traveller, Specialist Polo may be able to assist. Call in the space anomaly from the quick menu. Will do, mate. Thank you. Don't tell me twice. I want to go and find this lost traveller. I wonder if it's Leto. The whole time they've been thinking that I might be Leto. Maybe Leto is out there in the verse somewhere, people in the view of us. Yes, we can only but hope. One second. Just want to check my levels are coming through okay. They are. Everything looks great. Okay. In fact, actually, the PC levels, maybe I need to turn that down just a tad. They seem a little bit loud on this one, so I'll just turn that down to about there. There we go. Cool. Hopefully that wasn't an annoyance up to now, but there we are. Turn that down. Cool. Yeah. We've arrived, Dakota people. Some sound effects in this are a lot louder than others. It's like the weather sound effects. The weather sound effects can be really overbearing, can't they? Anyway... All right, so we're in here. We've got to go speak to Apollo. So we're legged up here. I mean, my jetpack is probably good enough for me to have flown up through that window, come to think of it. Head around here. Then we go and speak to Apollo over here. Hello there, little Apollo. How are you, mate? Freaking heck yes. Right, Leto. There we go. Ariadne, Helios, Artemis. You so many names. So many friends. Interesting. Some stay... Some go, but you all drift through our home. But traveller friend, there are those of you that do not come back, whose echoes were lost. Lose, yes, but time is wide and the universe is exciting. What we lose, you may find, yes. Would you like to try? Yes, yes I would. Be careful, traveller friend, outside of our home, you are all so hard to see. Your signals are there, but they are echoes. Where the lost ones are. When when they are. If they are first. If they are last. So this is the whole thing about the first and last. You get asked that by the Atlas. Now the new update is called Omega, which also is the, is the last. The first and last is referenced a lot inside of the lore. I don't think we can read into that too much and say that it's the last expedition or it's the last update or anything like that. I think it's a lore reference. But if we could see it all without danger, discovery would not be exciting, yes? Yes. Very true, that. Very true, that. I guess. All right. Um, well, you're just supposed to be telling me something... OK, you're just going to repeat the same shite again, are you? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. I was kind of expecting the mission law to move on a bit. Oh, OK. Now it's come up with something. Specialist Polo has identified a breach in reality. Reach the glitch in the universe boundaries to find a lost traveller. Return to your ship and leave the space anomaly. At once, little message. I guess don't have to tell me twice. Come on, ship. We've got somewhere to go at the boundary edge of the universe. This is getting interesting, isn't it, people? It really is. I mean, I, I love all the lore inside of No Man's Sky. Honestly do. Let's go. To infinity and beyond. Yeah. Now what? Ben? Right, I guess it's going to go to... Oh, hold on. There's a marker. Well, there we are. Potential boundary failure. Interesting. Interesting indeed. It's not on one of this score sort of scuppered planets where we've got those boundary failures on them. Hmm. Interesting. Strange that we're going there. I mean, normally I'd cut this, but it says that it's less than 10 seconds, so I might as well just leave this bit in, you know? Very cool. 
It's almost like there's some text that keeps coming up on this Sentinel ship on the Windows screen. It pulsates. Or I'm imagining things. Who freaking knows? All right, well, there's a building right here. I'm going to land by the building of where they marked something out. I don't know whether this is the right place, but we'll land here anyway. I'm going to land next to this landing beacon, and hopefully it won't use any of my launch thruster fuel. Okay. It's having a problem landing at the moment. Now, I am on PC. Now, my PC is a 2070, so it's not quite up to par. I need to get a new PC, but... I don't know whether it warrants getting a new PC for what I want to do with it. There's just not enough games out for it that I would say warrant getting a PC at the moment. Apart from maybe doing a new playthrough of No Man's Sky in a much higher qualities. Hello. Are you the Lost Traveller, mate? Hello. I approach the Lost Traveller. It is. Their skin is translucent, as if they were not truly there. Like an echo of their selves, you know? Do not exert trust the water. See, this is another thing that hasn't actually been completely tied up in the law. Why can't we drink the water? I mean, we know that nanites got put into spawning pools, but it, you haven't been drinking out of freaking spawning pools, have you? Because if you have, you've only got yourself to blame, mate. The traveller does not say anything else. They just stare at me occasionally, seeming as if they're about to retch. Ask about the water. The water. Tell me. Did you drink it? No. Uh, at least I hope not. Please take this. Run. I just wanted to hear her voice one last time. Probably the Void Mother's voice, but there's no purple text there, so I can't say for sure. Ask where they came from. The Lost Travers, Traveller gestures weakly. The wave of their shimmering hand leaves a glistening trail in the air, as if ripped from some unseen fabric. My exosuit lights up with a new set of planetary coordinates. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anomalous signal has been detecticated. And we hang exit the building. Like a flash. Okay, how far is that away? 22 minutes away. All right, okay. Well, we're going to be flying there then. All right, my ship's facing the wrong direction. Nyaum! Hiya! Let's go, my little sentinelized ship. Oh, I don't think it is text. It's it's like the circuitry boards of the actual ship, isn't it? Yeah. It just looked like it might be some sort of glyphy text or something. Who freaking knows? Anyway, like 15 seconds to get there. Let's go up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. And I can travel a little bit faster. Go through one set of clouds, two set of clouds. I can probably loop straight back down. I'm probably on top of it now. I've actually gone past it. There we are. You do travel faster, the less inertion you have or whatever, less sort of resistance, wind resistance and all that sort of sh shizzle. Unknown grave! There we are. Lunch land here then. Oh, my days. That sounded like an insurance job. Okay, I just landed on a freaking tree. Right, let's head on down here then. Let's go pick up the grave. Yow! Hello. When I wanted caves, I couldn't find them. There's freaking loads there. You what, mate? What did you say? What's, what did you say? Okay, here we go. I asked a question that no one had asked. It was simple. The sentinels. What are the sentinels? Do they come from? Yeah, where do the sentinels come from? I think they come from the realm of glass. I could be wrong. Made it my life work to find. Left logs, records across welds. The fallen traveller's grave is marked by a glyph. An epitaph of some ancient technology. I'll extract your glyph. I obtain the glyph. With it, the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveller in peace. Oh, it's only given me one, though. I'd like all 16. That'd be nice. Especially if this is going to become my forever PC save. Okay, well, let's pop that then. It's going to give me some emeril, which I can make a new warp drive. Nice. And it's also giving me the specialised warp plans. Where's my character just going to? I'm moonwalking right now, people. What the flying fudge is that all about? Okay, well, I've got all those plans, apparently. Lovely. Okay, well, that, that kind of works, doesn't it? All right, next off, visit a blue star system. All right, well, where's my ship? Because 
it looks like I might have to build some new warp drives inside of my ship before we can actually go there. I can hear the pulse of, like, the um, Atlas. That was weird. Now, Hello, ship. I'm going to sit in my ship while I work out whether I can install these plans. Let's go and have a look-see. Wrong button. This one. Okay, so these are my warp engines over here. Let's just see if we... Well, we're probably going to have to install... We probably can't get away with installing... Oh, we can. I just need some wiring looms. Okay, we'll just go back up to the station. We'll buy some wiring looms, and we're going to get that installed, because that's the idiom drive. That would let us jump to any system in space, peeps. So that's freaking lovely. All right, well, let's go back up to the old station in the sky. I see you at the station, people. Well, chums, I'm back at the space station. We're going to a galactic trade terminal and interface. And now I am hoping to sell a few bits inside of here just to free up a little bit of you know, extra space. We'll get rid of some of these bits and bobs that I probably won't need. Saying that, you never know what you do and don't need inside of this, I tell you. Okay, cool. Um, well, I'm going to get rid of these healthy freaking wheat block things. Oh, actually, I don't know whether I should. All right, we're, we, oh, I don't know whether I should get rid of that either. All right, fine. Anyway, we're here to buy ourselves some wiring looms. We need five of them. So we go, let's grab five. Chicka pow. And uh, let's go get that installed in the old ship, shall we? Wrong button. Am I close enough to my ship to do this, though? That's the question. I think I am. Lovely. Well, I'll get that installed then. Now, can I move this around so I actually make use of both of those slots? I think I can. Let's see if they sell one more warp module over here. I could buy it with my nanites, stick that in, and really boost it up. Hopefully they've got an S-class one. That'd make, that'd, that'd make it freaking great. Even if they've got an A-class, I'll probably buy it. Is that nanites you got there? Yes, it is. Every nanite helps. There we go. Purchase modules. Let's have a look. See, the best ones are down in the list. Oh, he's got a shield one. Oh, great. So the only thing I'm going to be able to buy is like a C class one. All right. Well, we we'll grab it anyway. All right. There we go. Let's go and install that then. Bam, bam, bam. We've got here. And we've got another pulse engine one. Might as well stick that there then. Exosuit, and we'll install this one. And I'll just stick it there for now. It's not going to boost it massively. It's going to add an extra 75 light years. Hopefully we can replace that out with a better one at some point. But it would do for now, won't it? Okay. Um, right, let's extract that as well. We've got a Blaze Javelin module. Don't overly want it. All right, let's, uh, let's sell some modules to him as well then. Purchase modules and sell. I don't really want the Blaze Javelin. There you go. Done. All right, cool. Uh, we're up on our adventure. Did I expand my exosuit while I was here? I think I already have. Yeah, I have. Oh, right, let's go then. Let's go. Sweet. Cool, yeah. And where are we going exactly? Yeah, we're going to be jumping to another system, aren't we? Yeah, let's do that then. We've got to visit a blue star. So it says here, visit the go to the galactic map is what it's saying just below me right there. And I imagine it's going to take me to a blue star system. It's already locked me on to something. Okay. That's not the mission that we want. It's It's gone and done something weird. That's, that's a pirate mission. You've got to be so blinking careful with this. Okay, so let's go into there. Select this mission. And hopefully it's changed it. There we are. That would have put me on the blinking voice of freedom if I left it like that. That's really bad. Okay, let's head on over here then. Oh, and now it's taken me to a red system. Well, I know I need to go to a blue star. That's just taken me to the next rendezvous point. Let's go to a blue star that's right near this. There's a blue one right there. We go there instead, people. There's a callback system in space. We go there. Hmm. A bit naughty, isn't it? A bit naughty. All right, I'll be with you in a sec. All right, okay, chums, I'm trying to get it back into game. There we are. We're in back in game. Lovely. We've arrived at it. And I think that's going to pop the actual badge itself. Sweet. Okay. I, I thought I was in a blue star system. 
Okay, I guess I'm not in a blue star system then. That looked as blue as blue could... And now it's not blue. All right. Does that mean that one's blue? Was I on some sort of weird filter earlier or something? Well, that was a waste of warp time, wasn't it? Right, I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> okay, chum, so it just happens to be that the next rendezvous point is in a blue system, I take it. We shall see. Are those two planets touching each other? They look dangerously close. Well, there we go, chums. We've unlocked the milestone. Thank you, guys. Or badge, whatever you want to call it. There you go. Let's pop that then. Polo figurines and su supreme hyperdrive upgrade. They just gave us a a really nice hypergrade. Okay, great. Brilliant. That's what I wanted before, people. Was that one? Where is it? There it is. There. Well, I can always move that for now. I can still make use of it until I find something better. But that one's going in there right now. Well, that's broke the tech, so I'll get rid of that one then. I could have broke the tech down. You're quite right. Oh, well, I just wasted that, didn't I? And we're going to stick this one right there. Chicka boom. That's our launch thrusters in as well. Sentinel weapon shard. Well, I haven't got much installed at the moment. What the heck is this? What? Impossible obliteration package. Yeah. All right. Okay. Fine. I'll stick that there then. Yeah. That's an unusual one. I guess we're going to have to put in the bolt caster module at some point. I don't know whether I've got the tech to actually put in the bolt caster one yet. I need some glass. All right. Well, I can sort that out the next time I'm at my freaking base. But for now, where the heck are we? Are those two planets touching each other? I'm just going to have a quick gander. I don't think they are, but they're extremely freaking close together. And there's a little bit of distance between them. All right, anyway, let's go into here then. Create the final memory. Okay, let's try that then. Memory of the Void. Okay, so we need um, Pugnium. And gold. Okay, well, gold, I can get that quite easy. I think I might know of another way to get gold really quickly, rather than shoot some meteorites. Um, can't call it to a blue system, can I? No. All right, well, we need to find some asteroids then. We'll shoot some asteroids. I was going to just delete a room inside of the freighter. Deleting a room inside of your freighter should give you some stuff. What the fudge is that? Is that a little... That's an asteroid, isn't it? What is that? Oh, did I go past it straight away? Yeah, I think it was an asteroid, but I'm looking for an asteroid field. I'm not finding many asteroid fields. Okay, what about over this way? Nope. All right, I'll reconvene with you when I've got some gold or I've found an asteroid field. Okay, chums, well, it seems that this giant potato asteroid is just completely made out of gold. Take that, I want some gold, I guess. There we are. Let's just shoot this then. Sweet. Oh yeah, I'm in my sentinel ship, so I can just sort of hover, can't I? Lovely. Easy peasy. I do love the sentinel ships for harvesting resources. And doing stuff like this, it's so much easier when you don't move all over the shop. Then again, in other ships, I think you can bring them to a stop in space as well. It's only on planets where they've got like a life of their own. This is getting me a lot of gold. Is that enough gold? Let's have a quick look, see. Yep, got enough gold. Now I just need Pugnium. Okay, so the only real way I know to get Pugnium is to shoot Sentinels. Alright, okay. Let's go see if we can find some sentinels. I'm sure one of these planets earlier, as I hovered past it, was an aggressive sentinel planet. I think it was this one. No, maybe it was this one. Then. Yes, there we go. We go there, and I'm fairly sure a lost blue planet. Well, it's bloody orange. Okay, someone's messed up with their labels, haven't they? We fly down here. I mean, lost blue. It's probably some sort of weird planet with bubbles on it or something. Or some weird planet that's very exotic. And Yeah, I better slow down flying into here. It could have giant flora all over it and I get tangled in it or something. There we are. 
Let's see what pops in. Okay, it's looking quite barren at the moment. Okay, it's one of these sort of... Um, oh, this this is cool. If they do put ship racing into the game, this is the sort of planet I'd like to find. But I'd like to find one that's not black and white, if possible. But with these giant rings all over it, that'd be freaking fun as you like, wouldn't it? Alright, well, let's just plonk our ship down here. and Let's see if we can shoot a couple of sentinels and get ourselves some pugnium. I think I've got... I think I've got a cloaking device inside of this multi-tool. It's the best way to get away from sentinels when you've upset them, is use your cloaking device. So let's just... Uh, we've got runic lens. Manipulation. Okay. B. No. Doesn't look like I have got a um, cloaking device in this device. Let's see if we can put one in. Wrong one. Can I put in a cloaking device? I haven't quite got all the bits I need for a cloaking device. What about in my other multi-tool? Do I have a cloaking device in you? I do. Great. I can package that out then. And I can put that into my staff. And get that installed. I just want to... Bridge and hack! I want to install it. Okay, install X. Okay. I'll stick that there. Boom. Done. Right, now I can go invisible. Great. Right, now if I pick up a ball, they should come and find me. Oh, great. It's jumped me all the way up to level 3. I was hoping just for level 1, but oh well. Shoot that guy. Pow. Pug him, please. There we go, we've got 30. That's probably all I need, to be honest. Yeah, shall we get out of here then? I think we've got enough Pugnium. I'll just shoot one more, just to be sure. Uh-oh. Get out of it! There we go, that'll do. And now I'm going to go invisible. Sentinels are searching. Hopefully they're not going to find me. Just run away, run away, run away some more. Okay, the only thing is my ship is over where they are. And they're going to relocate me in a second, because I'm going to run out of cloaking device. And just jump all the way over here. They're going to find me all the way over here, are they? And then hopefully my cloaking device will recharge. Or oh, that'll run out, one or the other. Well, both will happen. I can just call in my ship and get out of here. Done. Sentinel forces are deactivated. Where is my ship? I could just go back to it because I didn't go too far, did I? Right, yeah, it's over there. Meow. There it is. I can see it. It's, it's, it's not far. Aya. Well, that was a bit short-lived wasn't it as far as melee strafe jumps go these planets have got a really weird sort of vibe to them haven't they very eerie whoa sweet okay get me out of here take to the skies what why i didn't do anything oh you get bags can i call in the nexus Let's get in the Nexus just to avoid their scans, people. The Space Anomaly acts as some sort of safe haven. It does get rid of the Sentinel sort of scourge, I guess. Oh, my phone's going mental. I don't know why. But anyway, I'll reconvene in a sec. I'm going to find out why my phone's going mental. Okay, people. Let's um, head on over into my old build menu and let's uh, build this one out then. Okay, so I've still got all this... You know what? I might sell those cookies to freaking Kuridos. Well, no, I've sold it. Um, um, that takes a while. I'll just get rid of one of these. Right, let's create that the void thing then. Chikapow! We've created that. Lovely. Now we know that we need to fly back out into space to find out what's going on there. I do like this Sentinel ship, but it is hard to tell which way it's blinking and facing. Right, let's turn it out. I mean, the back of it looks just as nice as the front. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Keep away from that freaking marble of death. I guess. Uh, let's go into the old uh, menu. And let's uh, begin this then. 
Okay. Reveal memory. Let's pulse. Let's find out what this memory is then. Interesting. Interesting indeedy doody. Memory of the void. Rare object detected. Oh, hello. Oh, shite. Subroutine traveler. Memory status is breached. Atlas diagnostics. Am anomaly tolerance exceeded. Beginning log readout. All that lives drinks the same water. Oh, so maybe I have drunk the water then. Absorb the memory. The memory seizes me immediately. The eye is a moor. And I cannot look away. I know deep inside that if I close my eyes, it will not reopen them. Okay. Its vision searches inside me. It is angry, withering. It is afraid. I meet its gaze. At entity passes, an entity passes, an eternity passes even. I feel it blink. I am three. There wasn't no purple text amongst that one, was there? All right. And for the final bit of memory, I kind of thought there'd be a little bit more. Okay, all right, fine. We'll collect that then. We got a hexite. Brilliant. I don't know what we're going to use Hexite for. Hexite hasn't been used for much in game for freaking time. There's a lot of things inside a game that aren't being used. It's like the uh, Quantum to Fragia or whatever it is, you know, that you get from sucking souls out of things using the Animus Beam. Who uses the Animus Beam? Right, okay, anyway, we've done that then. Keeps going on to that voice of freedom, doesn't it? Return to the Atlas. Okay. Open up the Galactic Map, and hopefully it's going to have an Atlas already assigned. Is this, is this how I'm reading it? Um, I guess we'll go this way then. Atlas station, there we go. And a black hole and an atlas station in the same place. No, the black hole's slightly off. Okay, cool. Brilliant, I'll see you there. Okay, chums, well, we've arrived, Decated. And I think I just accidentally shot the atlas then. That, that might not bode well. Anyway, let's fly on in then. Sweet Caroline. Boom, boom, boom. Very ominous the first time you come across one of these Atlas stations. Did make me feel a little bit of intrepidation travelling inside of one of these the first time I come across one. I was like, oh, this is very red and angry. Red and angry normally means baddie, you know. It's like the Cylons. <laughs> or even, or was that Knight Rider? I think they both do that noise. Okay, right, here we go. That's a, like, well, the original Cylons did in Battlestar Galactica. The new Cylons, I weren't overly keen on them in the new Battlestar. Alright, let's jump on out. Oh, they just looked human, didn't they? There you go, let's just jump on out. Let's just, I'm going off on a weird tangent. And my early memories of Battlestar as a kid are very vague, to tell the truth. There we go, we learnt an Atlas word. Nice. Could have learnt a heck of a lot more Atlas words than I have by treading on those things, to be fair. Pick up those, might as well get some three warp fuel. Hello. It is I. I stand before the Atlas once again. I have travelled thousands of light years. I have seen all it has asked me to see. Every memory. But whose memories were they? Leto's? Mine? Did they belong to the Atlas itself? What did they mean? What story was I being told? Demand answers. The Atlas is silence in the face of my demand. I do not know what I expected. This interface, this machine... This crimson dream, whatever it is, is it even capable of answering? What revelation did I expect? It does not owe me a story, a neat revelation. The only answer that lies in the stars, I have no option but to keep exploring, keep reaching onwards. Sweet. Okay, cool. We've listened to the Atlas. We've popped that badge. Hold on, it's playing groovy music. Does this mean that I've completed everything? Again, there was no purple text there, was there? Infantry floor. Okay, right. It's trying to give me a load of living slime. I don't even want living... Now, let's go stick a load of stuff in my ship. And then I can pick stuff up, can't I? Meow, look at me go, people. Heck yes. I do like this new stuff. I like the new hat. I like the way I'm looking, to be honest. I could do with a slightly nicer looking ship, to be honest, though. But, um, yeah... Other than that, all good. 
Okay, we'll stick that in here somewhere. Put that there then. Uh, what else can I do? I could recharge my engines, I suppose, couldn't I? We'll stick that in the starship anyway. Might as well. All of that. Uh, I'll put those in there too. And the explosive. And these. I'm just putting away things that I think I might need for the mission. Stuff that I don't really overly want to delete. I'm going to take that as well. Might as well take them into there. They should go into one stack inside of the ship. Alright, there we go. Let's see if I can claim that reward now. Kapow! There we are. Living slime. I don't need it. Crystalline heart. Don't need it. Repackaged Minotaur AI unit. Okay, cool. Keeps going on to the voice of freedom. We're going to do Rendezvous 5. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I love that groovy music, though. That was very cool, wasn't it? Heck yes. 60 Days of Static, whatever their group name is. Meow. Go on, fly faster. Okay, don't. We enter into the old uh, galactic map. And I think we're doing our last jump at the moment, peeps. Wow. Okay. Locked on. And we're off. We've already visited here. Yes, we was here just momentarily ago before it sent us off on this little jolly. And we go to the rendezvous point. And I think I've got a load of fireworks on my person. And hopefully we can go and claim the ship. Which will be freaking super fantastic and awesome. I hope. And then what I plan to do with that ship is to fully upgrade it. And then I plan to do some sort of live episode, maybe on Monday. And try and get an S-Class pirate freighter. So I'm probably going to spend a lot of Sunday getting my, my ship ready for that. Yeah, because there's going to be a lot of combat involved, people. So hopefully you're going to join me for that. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel and you have enjoyed this playlist, I will be doing this all over again when this update comes to my PlayStation. So, yeah, because it could be different on that. From what we've heard, this is just a version of the expedition, not the expedition. Interesting stuff, huh? Okay, right, let's head there then. Let's skip that and let's uh, head to Rendezvous 5. Hurtling across the stars we go. It's going to take me 20-odd seconds to get there, which is no time at all, really, is it? But, yeah, we'll see if a comms ball spawns in. Normally when the comms ball spawn in, it's usually the closest one to the rendezvous point. Is it taking me... Oh, no, it is taking me back to that aggressive Sentinel planet. Oh, great. Okay, I don't like the aggressive Sentinel worlds at the best of times. And the ones that are all sort of chromatic, even less so. All right, let's head on down then. Yeah. Right, well, I haven't seen any comms balls appear. Have you? Aha, it says that there's some right here, I guess. Nope. Right, there's something over here. There's a comms ball over here. And look, it's by a portal. And there's a shed load of comms balls here, people. I don't know why the portal is actually floating above the ground at the moment. But hopefully when we land, it will land. Right. Hello. Hero was here. Nice one. We've, we've made it first. Oh, was you? Nice. There you go. It's good to hear that. Let's pop that badge. Apply augmentation. I'm going to put him in the top area of here. I want I want technology. Yeah, we'll unlock that one. Sweet. Okay. Coolio. We've got 1,200 nanites. That should help a lot. Starship inventory. We've already put that in. Warp cells. Okay, we've got loads of warp cells. Okay, let's go and claim this. Sweet. New expedition, yeah, collect rewards from the expedition page. Okay. And there. Starborn runner. Heck yes. Oh, yeah. Compare. I'm going to claim it as a free ship. Is it going to actually fly in right now? Or do I call it in? I guess I called it in. Okay, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Oh, look at it come down from the skies. Oh, that's so cool. I wish I wasn't on this planet, though. And I love that. That looks so cool underneath, doesn't it? I'm going to fly to another planet before I set up all my fireworks, people. 
You know, we want to see the fireworks in freaking colour, don't we? Let's go. It hasn't come up and asked me if I want to convert my save. And I think that's because there's a lot of optional quests on here at the moment. So I guess I'm a little bit stuck in this until I do the optional quests or until the expedition actually comes to a foreclosure. That's not a bad thing, I suppose. Um, because I do want to do the optional quests. So that's a gamma planet. And what's this one over here? Is that any nicer? Cactus flesh. I'd rather a cactus flesh than gamma. Okay, let's go to the light side of the planet. And we'll go set off these fireworks. And we're going to have a better look at my ship once we get there, people. Sweet, we're just about to break atmosphere. I'll just set it down. I think I'm heading towards the oceans, but we can put it on a nice little island, can't we? That might look quite nice, actually. In fact, we could land it on... I think this is a floating platform up here, like a floating island. We'll land on that. Great, if I just landed during a storm. Why aren't you landing? Freaking land, dang you. Landing not clear. Well, it looks freaking clear to me, mate. All right. Well, there's a load of twiddly bits on it. Okay, maybe it's not that clear then. Okay, enforcing sandstorms. Well, let's have a better look at the old ship then, shall we? I know it's not the best weather to look at the ship, but... Oh, yes. Look at that. I mean, yeah, just ignore what I've landed on. But... That looks freaking ace. That's probably going to be my thumbnail, people inside the viewerverse, I guess. The only thing is, it's got me on the screen, hasn't it? Oh, I can't really move me either right now. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can move me. One bit a second. Mm, pow. There you go. There's me gone. Yeah, that does look freaking great. I like that. Now we put me back on again. Sweet. Now I'll just turn off the view counter because we're not live. Let's go back into the old game. Sweet. So there we go. We got that done. Nice. Okay, well that ship does look freaking great. And we've finished the expedition. Apart from the uh, custom type bits. Where's my fireworks? How do I access the bloody fireworks? Uh, dun, 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 dun. Fireworks, fireworks. Where are you? Can't remember how to set off fireworks, people. They're flying fudge. Have I actually even got fireworks on me still? I'm sure I kept them. Well, they're probably in my other spaceship, aren't they? They are. They're in my other ship. Dang it. I'll have to call in my other ship. Oh, they, they can both be on the screen at the same time, though. Oh, let me just get in the ship. I've got this extreme storm's pretty nasty. The only thing is, now I'm in this ship again. It just set it to the actual default, didn't it? Let's just make sure we get rid of this extreme, extreme storm. All this just to let off some fireworks. Okay. Let me in. Are they in this ship? Uh, yes, they are. I've got 40 of them. I'll just put them in my exosuit for now. And let's just jump on out. And let's just let these fireworks off nice and quick, people, shall we? Yeah. Where's my latest ship? There it is. Let's let them off here, if possible. There they are. And chikapow, 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 pow, 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 pow. Look at that, people! Thank you very much for watching. You've all been freaking great. I guess you have. They're pretty cool fireworks, as fireworks go, aren't they? Nice. I can't really go into camera mode, or else it just pause the game. Yeah, really cool. Oh, I'm gonna have to get in my ship because it, you know, fire, extreme weather and all that. There we are, people. And this is the interior of the ship. Looks pretty darn freaking nice. Yeah, I mean it, it's pr pretty typical actually of a fighter. To be fair, I mean it's it is what it is. Anyway, let's just jump out of the ship, make a save, and I better exit out. Have I claimed everything? Let me just go for all these badges. Yes, I have. All done. And I've got a couple of additional ones that I can do. Optional ones. And I will do them, I think. I'll at least do one, anyhow. Anyway, people, that's uh, everything I've got for you on this. Let's, let's get out of here, then. Options and quit to desktop. Yes, there we are. 
saved 26 seconds ago. Doesn't sound about right, but there we are. It is what it is, isn't it? Okay, anyway. I have had a blast with this um, experimental expedition. The rewards have been good. I'd say all the missions have been fairly balanced. It has taken a lot longer for me to run this one. It's taken me a, a total of five hours, which is pretty impressive for an expedition. So normally I do a separate review, but you know what? I'm just going to review it right now. I'm going to say that this expedition is probably in my top six, maybe. So it's about halfway. It's about halfway. There's been better ones. But as far as rewards have gone, and also having some lore, it's been interesting from start to finish. I'm going to say, actually, it's in my top five. It's in my top five. I'm going to give it about a an eight, a flat eight out of ten. It's been good, but it hasn't delivered anything new in way of patches. But as we know, this is inside of Experimental Branch. It's not the actual full release. So we'll see if that changes. Let's see if when this hits full release, and that's on my PlayStation 5, whether I give it a higher score than a flat eight. Till next time, people, you've been freaking awesome. Yeah, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye again.